All right, we're making shrimp pizza. Shrimp pizza. First, you start with your favorite bacon and you fry it up and you make it uh, just nice and crispy. You're going to need a Classico four cheese Alfredo. I put a little black pepper on my bacon. Um, we're going to use probably a third of a jar of jalapenos. Sometimes I take these and put them on a baking pan. Uh oh, that's open. And uh, let me wipe that up. And um, and bake those with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder on them, and just put them as like little chips across the top of your pizza. For not because not everybody likes jalapenos, but I always do put a little jalapeno in it. This you season. Nona takes the crust, and she'll cover the crust in olive oil, and then she'll sprinkle some of the parmesan across it, and then uh, we pre-bake it for like five minutes, and then take it out, and then we put our toppings on it. I got one red bell pepper and one onion. Got a nice, nice size onion there, and. Uh, Preheat the oven. What we do is we fry down this bacon until it's done, and then we'll take it out and take some of this grease out of here, and we'll use some of that oil to fry down the onions and the peppers, and along with a little rosemary. Put some rosemary in there to give it a little kick. Give it a good flavor. And then you're going to use shrimp. We got our shrimp over here, just a plain old bag of. $5 small. This is the already cooked. You can get the uncooked. It doesn't matter. You just have to cook a little more in your skillet. Normally what we would do with these were frozen and we started just we decided to do this late. Normally you would take this out, put them in a bowl like this with a little crab boil. Uh, maybe like a lid full or two, you know, liquid crab boil. Just to give them a little hint. Uh, give them a little kick. But you don't have to do that. Um, you got to be careful if you, you know, using jalapenos plus the crab boil can get a little too hot sometimes. But um, other than that, of course, the only seasonings you'll need will be salt, black pepper, and maybe a little garlic powder. And I'll do that when I add the onions to this um, bacon pizza. And um, this is called shrimp pizza. And we'll give you a picture of it when it's all said and done. Uh, of course, we'll put these, uh, oh, the cheeses. We've got to talk about the cheeses. Can you grab the cheeses so you make that all one video? Uh, we do use the uh, five blend. Um, Italian cheese. When we first started making this pizza, we used to use uh, one bag of mozzarella and then we'd buy Asiago. And then we realized that this four cheese stuff, and you can use, as you can see, we got two different kinds here. Um, but uh, the Asiago cheese I like in it, it gives it a good flavor. This has the Asiago in it. I just think the Asiago makes it myself. And this has Asiago in it as well. And of course, we'll put this across the top as well. So those are your cheeses. And um, you can get back. You can get by with probably one bag. We like it a little extra cheesy, so we get two. But you can imagine, you know, one of these per pizza. You're not going to use all this. This is too much because in combination with the four cheese Alfredo over here, um, you got a lot. You got a lot of cheese there, shrimp. Um, you can just tell by the ingredients. This is good stuff. And the bacon here, you don't have to always fry bacon. A lot of times we'll buy the real bacon imitation and we'll just use that across the top. You don't have to use bacon grease here. You could just drop a little butter in here and just do your uh, veggies there with some butter. The bacon does give it a nice flavor when you use a little bit of this grease. Uh, but the, uh, the, bell, the putting the bacon across the top on top of the cheese after you've got it all layered up uh, makes, makes it really taste a lot better, to be honest, with the fresh bacon. So it's worth the trouble sometimes just to fry bacon, and of course the smell's wonderful. And you're getting your thing done over here? Here. Yep. All right. And what are you preheating your oven to, 400? Oh, I forgot to get it.